Hi everybody, Matt Brost here in my home garage, looking forward to demonstrating my new SunPower SunVault battery backup system. On the other side of this wall is the main service panel. So what the first thing I wanna show you part of this system is the essential load panel or backup load panel. In here you can see we've got a number of loads that have been brought in from the main service panel, mostly 15 and 20 amp loads, lighting, appliances, plugs, that sort of thing in addition to my well pump, which is a 30 amp circuit. These are all the loads that are gonna be backed up in the event of an outage, but in normal operating conditions, receive power just like any other part of the main service panel. The backup panel is wired to the Hub Plus. So this is sort of the brains of the system, if you will. I'm gonna open it up and show you what's inside. If I start at the top, you can see that we've got a, basically a main breaker. Down below it, we have what's called the, the, the rapid transfer switch. This is what turns the power on and off in the event of an outage. And then we have 10 circuits here where we can put up backup loads. I've got my backup sub panel that I just showed you wired in. I've got my detached garage wired in. This is also where we wire the ESS inverter, the SunVault inverters, which I'm gonna show you in a moment. Down below that is where all of the solar, so our Equinox solar system is wired right into here. And at the bottom, We've got non-backed up loads. So if there was something you wanted to back up or add wiring later, you could do that here. It just wouldn't be backed up. I'm gonna next move over to the SunPower SunVault battery, pop it open and show you what's inside. So here you have the inverter, which I'll talk about in a second. And you got our two batteries in the bottom, a total of 13 kilowatt hours between these two batteries. This inverter is converting AC power to DC so that it can be stored in the batteries. The next thing that's happening in the event of an outage, it's gonna convert it back from DC to AC or in the afternoons when we're, when we're uh, using our batteries to offset high peak loads. Now what I like about the battery is that it's got this great display on the front. So what the display is telling us is that we have a full charge right now. We are connected to the utility by that icon and that we're also connected to the internet. This is also how we monitor. There's hardware here and here, so we actually have monitoring software that connects to our SunPower app. And on the app, you can see the, disc, the charge state of your battery, you can control the battery, and lots of good stuff. And we'll have to do a separate video just on the app. Now, what I thought would be fun was to simulate a grid outage. I've got my LED light right here. I'm gonna turn it on. You can see that we're under grid power right now. If I switch my grid sense, this is gonna simulate a grid outage. I want you to watch how seamless the transition is. Just like that. Now what's gonna happen next is if you come back to the display, you're gonna see that we're now orange. What that indicates is that we are no longer connected to the grid and we are drawing energy off of our SunPower battery. It also shows that we are not connected to the grid any longer, but in fact we are using battery, but we're still connected to the internet because handily we've got the wireless on the backup circuit in this home. So we continue to have internet power. So that's the uh, overview of the SunVault battery system. I want to thank you for watching.